All right, guys, so in this training video, I'm gonna go, sh go through, and I'm gonna show you these group links we haven't talked about yet. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to use them and, and what they're actually used for. Like many features inside the Tier 5 software, um, a lot of these features inside the Tier 5 software, what, what the reason that they exist is because what was happening is in just the natural process that I was following to grow our company to where it's at now. Now we actually have 38 full-time employees at Tier 5. And the natural process that I was following on social media and through all the different things that I was actually doing to grow our company and to get us to where we're at today, I, I encountered several different problems that I needed to tackle and I, I wanted to tackle those with technology. So what I ended up doing since we already had all this different software that I literally had my company build to, to help me in, in the process of actually growing the, the, our company, which is why all our software exists in the first place, we built it to, to solve problems in our own business. I just went in and I, I essentially had them add new features to you know, combat specific problems that I would have every day. And the, one of the problems that I was facing is I was, I was doing some stuff on LinkedIn and I was doing some organic growth through LinkedIn. Um, and I, I wanted a way to use Magic Zap and to actually connect with all my LinkedIn friends and use Magic Zap to actually create a, a dynamic page for each connection on LinkedIn that referenced, you know, their name and the company that they work at and the position that they held at that company with a little intro video and a way for them to actually opt in and request to actually meet me personally, you know, through like a Skype video or through like a Zoom call where we could actually connect and, and do some networking. So um, I, was, I was doing it in a very rudimentary way. And what I noticed is I was sending everybody out links to a page that had Magic Zap installed on it. And it, the, the link that they got in their email was literally just, a, it was a long URL and they could see all their data actually embedded right inside that URL. And I really didn't have any way to track who was actually clicking those links. Plus they were really, really ugly and they weren't getting a, a really high click through rate. So I went and grabbed a couple of my engineers and I said, hey, look, here's what, here's what I need to do. I, I'm going to literally send everybody to the same web page, but the only thing that's going to be different is the URL parameters. I'm going to pass in some dynamic data, um, like their name and their email address and their, their phone number and their company and their position, all the data points that I had got from them from, from LinkedIn. I'm going to pass all that data as dynamic variables in the actual URL, but I don't want them to see that and I don't want them to know uh, because I don't want them to think it's a fishy link or something like that. So I want to have a nice, pretty short link that they can, that they can click. And then I can also go in and actually track. So I, I brought them, I, I brought them this problem and then we sat down with my engineers and we created the group links. All right. So I'm going to go through and just run through an example of the group links, how you actually use them and how you can set them up and actually use them. So Whenever you create a group link inside Link Wizard, essentially what you're doing is you are creating a template, okay? That's what you're doing. Inside Link Wizard, you're not actually going to create any link here. What you're going to do is you're going to create a template of the link that you actually want to create. Um, and then once you create that template through Zapier, through an automation in Zapier, you're actually going to create the individual links, all right? So I'm going to go in and just put this, you know, group training test and you can select your custom domain if you want to. I haven't added so many inside this test account here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this one here. All right. Uh, if you want to customize your URL, you can. So we're going to go in and do that. I'm just going to put group link training here. All right. And then all the other stuff that you want to do, if you want to add a Facebook pixel, I always recommend adding your Facebook pixels. That's one of the biggest advantage of Link Wizard and using these short links are not only being able to track the analytics and being able to track your conversions, but actually being able to pixel everybody and create custom audiences of very specific traffic. This will allow you obviously very later to go in and do retargeting. If you don't know how to do retargeting, I've done a lot of videos and I'll add another video in Link Wizard on specifically how you can retarget people who click specific links. And then obviously you can do all your other different stuff here. If you want to add tags or a description, 
Um, you can add all that. I'm not going to add any of that. We've already went over all these in other training videos, so you should know exactly how to use them and what they do. So for this video, I think this is enough. So I'm just going to go in and add this group link here. All right. And then that group, that group link's actually been added. And I want you to notice that this group link actually shows up here and it shows up and lets you know that it's actually a group link. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to go to Zapier. All right. And so I'm going to go to Zapier and I'm going to create a new Zap. All right. And what I'm going to want to do is create my, my Zapier token here. If you don't have a Zapier token, you'll want to create it already. This is going to help us correct our, connect our Zapier account. And I'm just going to go in and create a new Zap. And this Zap is going to essentially be, uh, I'm going to use my Google Sheet because I've already prepared a Google Sheet with some dummy data here where we're going to grab this dummy data. And then we're going to go in and actually paste the group link that comes back from Zapier here. Um, and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can send it out in your chat bot. You can send it out. Uh, you, you can send it out in an email or do whatever you want with it once it's created through the automation. So I'm just going to do new or updated spreadsheet row in my spreadsheet. I've got a send flag right here. And this will be the trigger that we tell Zapier to go in and actually start this automation. So if you're still confused about Zapier and, and all that good stuff, I want you to know inside this partner's training program where I put in all the information, uh, there is pretty much everything that you need to know about Zapier to become a Zapier expert, right? Inside the Zapier section, all right? So I'm gonna just set up this very first part of my Zap here. Uh, and this was, what was this called? This was called, Somebody needs to mute themselves if they could because you sound really horrible. So this is called group. Okay. You could just mute yourself. I'm trying to find who you are that isn't muted and I couldn't find you. So if one of those people who aren't muted, just please go ahead and mute yourself because it's, it's fairly rude for you just to be making a whole bunch of stupid noises while other people are trying to listen to what's going on here. So please don't do that. So I'm going to go in and refresh here. And I need to get group link training. Oh, I've actually picked my wrong, I picked my wrong Google account. So I need to pick my right Google account. This is my group link training. And I'm gonna trigger based on this send flag. So I've got this send flag that's gonna be my trigger. And then I'll be able to actually get all this information from Zapier. Here's all the information from Zapier. This is all the information coming from my Google Sheet. So now I'm gonna add a step and I'm gonna add an action. This is gonna be a link wizard action. All right, so here is link wizard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick create group link here. All right, now my Zapier account, I'm not connected with this link wizard account to Zapier. So I wanna go ahead and do that. And that's really easy to do. You're just gonna hit connect account. And you're going to grab that. You're going to grab that API token, that Zapier token from Link Wizard. If you don't have a Zapier token here, there's a button that says Generate Token. You're just going to click that Generate Token button. You're going to get that token, and you're just going to stick it inside there, and then your account is going to be connected just like that. So this is my training account. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark that. That is my training account. And now I want you to see how easy this is. You're just going to pick your group link. This is the same group link that we just created right here. All right, we created this group link. We, we named it group training test. So we're just going to use that. Remember that just really serves as a template to what we're going to do. All right, um, and then I'm just going to go in and um, I don't know what page that I would even want to send somebody to. So I'm just gonna use this link wizard page right here. All right. And I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to put in some stuff here. I'm going to put in like first name equals, and then I'm going to put in this person's first name from my spreadsheet. I'm going to put in and and L name equals, and I'm going to put in this person's last name and then I'm going to put in and email equals, and then I'm going to put in this person's email address. All right. So this is all the data. Now I did something really, really similar. With LinkedIn, with LinkedIn, I literally had a huge spreadsheet of all my contacts that I downloaded from LinkedIn. I downloaded all my contacts from LinkedIn, 
and I had all their information, their name, their last name, their email, the company that they worked at, the position, how long we've actually been friends and all that good stuff. And I just had that in a big spreadsheet like that and I did something really similar. I had a send flag, which I'm going to use as my trigger to actually start the Zapier automation. And then uh, I would just go through every day and I would trigger, you know, 100 or 200 or 300, however many emails that I wanted to send out, that data would get sent to Zapier, Zapier would hold it, Zapier would create a personalized group link for each and every one, and then I would use that group link in my next step whenever I sent an email, and I would just give them that link so that they could click that link in the email, and they could go out to uh, a landing page that I, that I had, I'm not sure if I still have it anymore. Uh, I, I probably do, I'll have to go in and actually find it, but I would just send it to uh, a landing, I would just send them to a landing page for, for LinkedIn and you know, let them know, hey, we're connected on LinkedIn. Let me see, it was something like this, it was one of these landing pages right here, not that one, sorry. It was literally one of these guys right here. Can't remember exactly which one it was. Probably this one right here. I would literally just send them to this web page right here. All right. And then inside this web page, I'm actually using inside this inside this web page. I'm actually using Magic Zap, and I would put their name right here. I would put the position that they had at their company right here. So I would put that position from LinkedIn there. I would put their company there, and I would pre-populate this information right here, and then just only ask them for a phone number, and whenever they click this button, literally it would trigger a zap, um, and then essentially start an outbound IVR process with Text and Vault to get them on the phone, and then actually connect with them. And I made a lot of different connections on LinkedIn, and then I also used something very, very similar um, to go in and get them to review my funnels. I targeted all the marketing, anybody that had marketing in their position, and I would literally send them a link to one of my funnels and have them give me all their expert advice on what I was doing wrong with marketing. Made a lot of different tweaks to my funnels based on their free advice there. All right, so here I'm going and creating my, my group link. I'm just gonna send this test to Link Wizard, and you can see now I've got my Link Wizard link. All right, so now I've got my Link Wizard link. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a step. And this is going to be another Google Sheets. And I'm just going to actually update a spreadsheet row. And I'm going to update that same spreadsheet that I'm getting this information from with the correct link. So we're almost done here. Don't worry, almost done. And we're just going to use a custom value for this right here. And we're going to use the row from this. And we're just going to put in this group link. We're going to put inside this group URL right there. And then we should be done. And then we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and skip that test and finish this. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this app on. Get rid of all these unnecessary tabs here. Now this app is on, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to give a send flag here, a five, a value five. It doesn't matter, just any new value that I give here. And that is going to actually cause my automation to trigger. So now this automation will end up triggering. It's going to take a, a couple seconds to, to happen with, with Zapier. Zapier takes a little bit of time to actually send this information. But once it sends it, I've noticed today that it's been really, really delayed. Um, it's been really delayed with Google Sheets, but once it sends that information, once Zapier actually gets this information from my spreadsheet, then my links will magically appear here, and each one will be a dynamically built group link that is just built off of that group link template that I created inside Link Wizard, um, and I will be able to use it with whatever it is that I want to use it with. So I can see that I'm still having a little bit of problems right here where it still hasn't actually went in and, and created my links for me. And it shows that this is instant, so there's nothing that I can do here, but just wait is all I can do. So we're just going to, to wait here, and then I'm gonna, get my, I'm gonna get my links back, hopefully sometime soon. Hopefully they don't make me wait so long to get my links. 
So I'm just going to update that again. Maybe I can force maybe I can force um, Zapier to go in and and get my links for me because that's actually what I want to do. Let me just test this step again and see if this is actually all working good. And I can see that it is actually working good. I've got my I've got my information here. That's a seven for this guy right here. So it looks like everything's working on the Zapier side and all we're waiting on is we're just, we just have a delay it looks like for Google Sheets to actually send the data to Zapier. So we're just waiting on Google Sheets to actually, uh, we're, we're just waiting for Google Sheets to actually send that data here. And once they send that data here, then we'll actually end up seeing our group links right inside here, right? So we'll be able to see our, our group links actually show up right inside here on our, our group link dashboard, all right? Inside our group link dashboard, we'll be able to go in and see all those different links. There's that first link that we created with our test, and then you'll be able to see, hey, for this person right here, how many times have they actually clicked it? And then you can even go in and get more in-depth information just about this single link right here, all right? So if you wanna get more in-depth information about that one single group link itself, then you'll be able to, this is for the one single link. And the other thing that you're actually seeing, that is for the, that is for everything as a whole. So you can see this is, this is the tracking for every instance of those actual group links, uh, like an aggregated. So it, for example, for me, whenever I was running my LinkedIn campaign, um, you can see here's my links now. I've got my links all created. So I can go in and just open this up and you'll see whenever I actually open up this group link here, it's going to redirect to that link wizard. It's going to redirect to that link wizard page. And now it's actually embedded all the URL parameters in there for me. All right. And the great thing about this is my users, I can use a custom domain here. If I want to use a custom domain, if you set up your custom domains, you can use your custom domains here as well. And the great thing about this is that your users, Whenever you're sending them this this link in, a, in an email or wherever you're sending it to them, uh, you can even use this inside text in bulk through Zapier and you can send back a custom link. Um, you can generate this link from text in bulk and then you can trigger a zap, let's say, let's say on an autoresponder, you can trigger a zap and send all the text in bulk information and then you can use the group link to build a completely dynamic, beautiful short link that you're then going to send back inside a text message that's going to be a very unique link and it's going to be a short link and they're not going to see all their information embedded inside of it. And then whenever they click on that, as long as you have Magic Zap installed on that page, uh, as long as you have Magic Zap installed on that page, then Magic Zap can do its job and then also fire off its own automations and then create a, a nice dynamic landing page for these people. All right, so here's another one of those group links here. And you can see it's gonna to go to that group link and then it's going to actually redirect the link wizard and it's going to have all the data actually embedded right here inside the URL, just like we want. So now we have all the all the data embedded in our URL. Now, if we have Magic Zap on the script, Magic Zap will be able to actually remember this piece of traffic and perform automations every time this piece of traffic comes back from every time this comes back from. Uh, So now we've got our group links created. So hopefully you can see that was pretty easy, right? It's really, really easy to actually create our group links. It's just like that. You're just going to use your, your the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go inside Link Wizard and you're going to essentially create your template. You're going to create your group link template. You're going to give it a name. If you want to use your custom domain, you're going to do that. If you want to have a nice little customized URL and a nice little slug to remember what's going on, you're going to do that going to fill out any of the other options that you have. And then once you actually create that group link, you're going to essentially get a template of a group link, just like this, you're going to get a template. And then you're going to actually be able to use that inside Zapier. If you use our Zapier app and you use create group link, you'll be able to use that in your template. You're just going to connect your Zapier account. You're going to pick that group link that you actually created. And then you're just going to build your dynamic URL that you actually want to shorten. And then you're going to get that link back 
and you can use it with whatever you want, all right? And this, in this example, I'm just literally putting it on my spreadsheet, but what I would typically do here is I would typically have an email process right after this, and I would include that group link that I just got from Link Wizard inside my email so that everybody gets their own individual link that is basically encapsulating all their URL parameters, and they see a nice, pretty link, and they can just go in and click on that nice, pretty link, all right? So that's everything that you need to know about group links. Um, hopefully that was pretty easy for you and you don't have any questions there.